Apple Vision Pro brings the scale and wonder of a movie theater to whatever space you're in. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're taking a closer look at the Apple Vision Pro and telling you everything you need to know about it. Go ahead and put on Vision Pro. It's a VR headset. The era of spatial computing is here. Although Apple would rather us not use such reductive language, in simple terms, the Apple Vision Pro is a virtual reality headset, similar to that of something like the MetaQuest 3. Technically, as it utilizes both virtual reality and augmented reality, a more accurate way of describing it might be a mixed reality or extended reality headset. Regardless, this is Apple's first Vision OS product, which will no doubt act as a springboard for a whole host of futuristic tech, which may or may not include VR-type products, hence the brand's hesitation to be pigeonholed as just another VR product. When using the Apple Vision Pro, users can switch between its VR and AR capabilities with the click of a button. Well, with the turn of a digital crown style dial. And when using the headset, the user's eyes will be visible through the front of the headset thanks to a feature called EyeSight. Can you see me? I can see you. Hi. Hey. This EyeSight feature will also be able to indicate to others when you're busy using one of the device's features so they can avoid interrupting you. It has impressive tech specs. So what's powering the Vision Pro? Well, at the heart of the headset is both an M2 processor and a new R1 chip. These work together to process the input from five sensors, 12 cameras, and six microphones. The headset also utilizes Apple's impressive spatial audio. In terms of what the user sees, there are two displays that combine to give you 23 million pixels of ultra high resolution goodness, each equivalent to 4K and capable of creating the illusion of a 100 feet wide display. There are three different Vision Pro models each with varying amounts of storage capacity, 256GB, 512GB, and 1TB. More on the pricing of those later. Like other mixed reality headsets, the Vision Pro will facilitate various different immersive visual experiences, like panorama photos and wraparound environments, the latter of which has an awesome breakthrough feature, by the way, which allows users to still speak to those in the room with them. What? You're coming through the scene. There's also lots of different video playback options too. When you want a cinema at home experience, you can expand your video playback and your environment will automatically dim around you, which is cool. You can also view Apple's new spatial videos, which can be shot on the iPhone 15 and on the Vision Pro device itself. These give the impression of peering into a snapshot in time. Apple is also talking up the Vision Pro's video conferencing features via FaceTime, which will allow users to view the people they are chatting with life-size, and their voice will even come from the correct direction thanks to spatial audio. Apple will even generate a digital persona of yourself for those on the other side of the call, complete with your likeness and even your mirrored facial expressions. I'm wearing Apple Vision Pro, just like you. This is my persona. To benefit from this digital persona, users will have to register their likeness with the device in order to do this. This will also help add an extra layer of security to the device, much like Face ID does. However, Apple says that there will also be the option to add a guest mode to the device so friends and family who are not registered on the device can enjoy it. On top of its flexible video features, you'll be glad to hear that Vision Pro supports 720p AirPlay, allowing you to mirror whatever is on your Vision Pro to any AirPlay-enabled device, such as an iPhone, iPad, Mac, or TV. You can also use AirPlay to ping other devices' displays to your Vision Pro, like your Mac. Now, although these tech specs are great, what's not so great is the slightly disappointing battery life of the Vision Pro. Although the headset can be plugged in and used indefinitely, the included pocket-friendly battery pack only allows for up to two hours of general use and two and a half hours of video playback. By today's movie standards, that two and a half hours isn't gonna go very far. Navigation is seamless. Apple is all about simplicity when it comes to navigating its devices, and the Vision Pro is no different. The headset champions natural control, which means it's capable of using your voice alongside clever hand and eye tracking in order to make navigation quick, easy, and fun. So, just to be clear, you only have to look at the icon you want to select in front of you, and the headset will track your eyes and highlight it for you, which is really cool. You simply look at something and tap your fingers together to select. <laughs> Other movements like swipes, pinches, and wrist flicks will also be a big part of finding your way around the headset's interface and features. For example, you can virtually pinch and drag the corner of a photo to enlarge it. Prescription lenses and virtual fittings. If you're worried about using the Vision Pro with glasses, then fear not, as Apple is offering prescription lenses. These will come at a cost, of course, with Apple charging $99 for Zeiss optical inserts, which are the same as readers, and $149 for Zeiss prescription optical inserts. 
Apple will assess the lenses of your glasses in store by scanning them, and they will also scan your face to assess the best light seal, or face cushion, to accompany your headset to ensure the best fit and so that light doesn't leak through. We designed a modular system so you can find the right fit. This is all part of the buying your Vision Pro headset experience. But let's say you want to order your Vision Pro headset online. Well, you will have the option of using your iPhone or iPad to scan your face, much like you do with Face ID, and then have the Apple website suggest an appropriate light seal and fit for your head. There have been reports of these at-home fittings being a little hit and miss, but reportedly, customers will be able to swap any ill-fitting light seals in store free of charge after the fact, according to reports by Bloomberg's Mark Gurman. Plenty of apps, but no Netflix, YouTube, or Spotify. The Vision Pro will be launching with a wide variety of apps to browse. Apple's built-in apps will include many of the usual suspects, but what about third-party apps? Well, Apple says that more than 1 million familiar apps will be available with Apple Vision Pro from launch, with many Vision Pro exclusive apps also available. Users will be able to multitask and use apps side-by-side -side while using the Vision Pro headset too, allowing for unique, flexible workspaces. I'm gonna put it right here. Notable big name apps with Vision Pro support include Disney Plus, Paramount Plus, Amazon Prime Video, ESPN, Discovery Plus, Peacock, and TikTok. But you probably noticed a few omissions there, right? Yep, Netflix, YouTube, and Spotify are reportedly not building native apps for the Vision Pro. At least not yet. That means that users will have to browse said services through the Safari web browser, which as we all know, can be a little bit tedious. In stark contrast, Disney Plus is going the other way and giving Apple Vision Pro users specially designed screening environments and 3D-enabled content to enjoy on the Disney Plus app. Some of the confirmed 3D Disney Plus content includes Encanto, Avengers Endgame, and Avatar The Way of Water. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. It's set for a Feb 2024 launch. Apple has announced that the Vision Pro headset is available for pre-order from January 19th and will officially launch on February 2nd, 2024. So when can you actually get your hands on one? Well, February 2nd is when it goes on sale online and in store. When you'll receive that online order and which stores will actually offer the Vision Pro custom fitting experience is a little more unclear. As of the February 2nd launch date, the Vision Pro will be exclusive to the US, with rollout to other countries expected later in 2024. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman expects that countries like the UK and Canada could get their hands on the Vision Pro shortly after the US launch in Feb. In terms of pricing, the Apple Vision Pro ain't cheap, retailing at $3499 for the 256GB model, while the 512GB and 1TB versions are priced at $3699 and $3899 respectively. So that's our list. Are you excited for the launch of the Apple Vision Pro? Let us know in the comments below. So that's what we've got for you today. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.